I came across this video by Todd in the Shadows that made this claim about the theme to The Exorcist. But look at this, it's a 7-8 and then an 8-8. Eight, eight. So really it's a 15-8. Just trying to play that simplified piano version just now, that extra beat f***s me up. This is why I wish we would teach and understand meter better. The way it's written here in the example that he shows and the pattern in the music just don't match at all. So let's break it down. First, I want to correct this statement. Sounds like it should be in 7-8, which is already a difficult time signature. 7-8 is not a difficult time signature. Considering the vast majority of the time something is in 7-8, it has this quarter-quarter dotted quarter meter, it becomes very predictable and easy to follow. So here's a bunch of examples from different genres. <laughs> There are, of course, other examples like Dance on a Volcano by Genesis and Holding Up the Sky from StarCraft II that trade off this quarter quarter dotted quarter and dotted quarter 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 progressions. As for the theme at hand, we need to identify the beats in the repeated pattern. Now, how do I identify the beats? Well, I'll admit here that that is a bit subjective, but looking at the beaming in the transcription shown in that video, there are no beamed beats in the second bar, and do those beams make sense in the first? Not to me. So what jumps out at me is this. But if you look closer, notice we have a very visible pattern. Four typical 70 bars with an extra beat at the end before the cycle repeats. That's our pattern. And since that's all it is and it loops, it's very easy to grasp onto and feel the groove. This is not the only case of music doing this with a 7-8 being paired with additional beats and predictable patterns. And Barry and Dawn's song Cherish My Memory has a section that has a bar of 7-8 followed by a standard measure of 4-4, which is just adding an extra eighth note every other bar. Tom Hedden wrote a track for the NFL called A New Game that does the same thing. The Weapon Factory music from Super Mario RPG does the opposite, having a 7-8 followed by a 3-4, effectively removing an 8th note every other bar. Then there's the example I have used a few times from Borderlands 3, with two bars of 7-8 followed by an extra beat. I'll end with Rush's YYZ that has two 7A bars followed by a 3-4 bar, essentially removing an 8th note every 3rd bar. When we break music down by its metrical field, these so-called complex time signatures are actually not all that bad and much easier to feel and follow. So, the next time you hear or see a crazy meter, break it down and see if there's a pattern. I bet that'll make it easier to understand and follow. 